Uh, I got value out of that shield again. I was able to attack in places I wasn't able to attack in, and I was able to defend in places I wouldn't be able to defend in. Shield seemed to do fine, stalled his board a lot when I was in positions of being scared, and also allowed me to do things like attack with my death, death touch abomination, because it's minus two from all of his blocking creatures, so he can't even gang block that to kill it. Seemed fine. So rationale for shield over soul savage. I think I just talked for like 30 seconds about how well this soul, the shield's been doing for me. So I mean, maybe it's maybe it's chat delay. Sometimes it's chat delay, but like when you're in the process of explaining something, and the question is, "Why are you doing that?" You're like, "Huh, huh." Go on. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's great. But I think it's okay, and I think it has a lot of synergy with a bunch of three twos in this format. Yeah, you need to restart your client, Marco. That seems like a good one to kill. I think First Strike is super strong on the little uh, legendaries in Dominaria. Well, Dominaria First Strike creatures are really good. It's a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Sure. I'm going to eviscerate it afterwards. Least favorite keyword? Is it unfun to play against? I don't know. I think it's a pretty damn awesome mechanic for uh for uh draft if you can get that rolling, it's something cool that you don't get to do all the time. I think it's super good, so I don't know if I think that's unfun or not. Flying first strike and trample, you say. Flying first strike and lifelink. Seems ridiculous for a wall. Like literally ridiculous. Okay. Look at that fucking thing. How does it, e I mean, does it even do its job if it's flying? The wall blocks people by being on the ground. If the wall flies? I don't know, man. I don't know what to do with that. You know what I would like? I would like some goddamn lands. That'd be reach. If it's not flying, but it's all the way up in the air, it's reach. This was flying. I feel like the wall abandoned his job to fly. Oh, it says two. I thought this was one. All right. Let's equip one. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, why couldn't I go under it that turn? It seems, it seems ridiculous. Ridiculous to me. Yeah, that's a problem. Do I just eviscerate it now? I think I do. Still need land. Good. Is 
Shield, sword, and board. The name of the deck has just deployed. And now we're angry. Feel the fucking burn. The fungus is coming for you. Do I eviscerate it? Do I cast down the fungus? Bam! It's just offering fungus. All right. Guess it's not going to get too much value out of Skin Witch right now. But I think I will get some value out of this dude. Okay. Oh, do we have one? Yeah, we've got Triumph of Gerard, don't we? It's awkward. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Um, I guess the poet. No, poet's gonna sack. It's gonna be the wall until he gets something else, I guess. Sword and board. We've armored the fungus. What I'm hoping is he draws shit, sacks the poet to get his thing back, draws shit, and he doesn't want to play it on the wall. Or maybe he just hits me with the poet, I guess. Oh, he's going to block, then sacrifice, and then I'm going to skin witch it, and he's going to be super salty. Oh, yeah, feel that burn. Feel that burn. Thank you, Croker. Nope, oh, nope. He's playing around it. He's got black. I might get skin witch. Let's hold the force. Okay. Opponent's drawing lands. He's at eight lands, and I'm at eight lands. I think we're equally drawing lands here. Hey, look who played around skin witch. You got me, bro. Feels bad. He has to start chump blocking now. I think he's going to be wondering, do I get the dude back? I think this turn, he's going to do it. Because he doesn't want to chump the skin wish when he can chump the poet and still get value out of it. So the poet's going to be to pick up the enchantment. Sure. I've been patient with my skin witch. It's time to get value. Put it back in the graveyard. It's not yours. That gives them a lot of time to live. It's unfortunate. The indestructible wall is proving to be fairly fucking obnoxious.
Actually has five power on the board now. He has to block every turn. He can chump or he can triple block. Just turn aside. I don't I think I keep the shield on the abomination. So anyway they can kill it. Although maybe if he just group blocks everything, we come out ahead. So the abomination kills literally everything. I think he's not gonna love losing everything here. All right, fine. So it's just gonna be a chump then. Oh no, I did that wrong. Shit. I think it was better to swap the two pieces of equipment entirely. Oh, he doesn't know how shield works. This is going to be really unpleasant for him. I'm sorry, buddy. The shield blocks from every source. So your dudes do nothing to my my thing. Well, we learned together. Wasn't that fun? See how I took zero damage? Feels bad. Um right. Well, it's an instructional uh, instructional stream for all of you guys at home. The shield is per permanent. Uh, so we need to pass the sword over to there. All right, we just valued him down. It was a grindy game. That wall put up a big fucking fight. I made that mistake on that attack too. I think I should have had the uh, sword on the abomination to make it a 6 6 so he couldn't have group traded. I don't think he wanted to group trade. It's part of why I was willing to make the attack in the first place, but I could have made it to a position where he couldn't kill anything. And that would have been better than giving him the option to trade off his entire board except for the wall for the abomination. So. All right. For all the marbles. Smug Filthy's your favorite? It's not Smug Citizen. That's um that's teaching voice. It's, that is uh enjoying someone else learning through my actions. I have helped that person get better at Magic the Gathering, citizen. What's the point of six six A bomb with the wall blocks anyways? Because um he had five power on the board between his creatures that weren't on the wall. That weren't the wall, so he could have chosen to gang block instead. All right, um, same same exact issue. We've had three games in a row, right? We have threes. This hand is really solid for this deck. We have to draw a land. I need water. Should have taken a break. Should have taken a break. A land, I'm so excited. The gods have been kind. The land gods. Could be bad for us long run. Happened to the green screen. Did it turn off? No, it's there. I don't know what you're talking about. Flickering? What? There's a scorpion crawling around behind it, but that's part of the board. 
shouldn't have been flickering. That's kind of weird. I wonder if that's an OBS thing. So we discarded. Oh, he can exile a historic from his graveyard to not have to discard. Okay, so he spent nine mana, eight mana, to draw twice and discard twice. Sure. I'm going to get Wrath of God here and be really salty. Mark my words. It's a black background. It looked weird and grainy. Hmm. Well, I don't think there's a lot I can do about that because I don't think there's any change on my part. It might just be how it adapts to the stuff. I mean, anyways. Uh... I am actually realistically getting worried about Wrath of God effects right about now. Because he hasn't played anything for four turns. Do I need to commit more to this board? Can it sacrifice itself? Time to find out. He's taking six. Presumably it can. More fungus beat down. I lived in an apartment where this pretty much happened to me. I think we're going about to get fucking AoE. Oh, he doesn't have a legendary creature out. Right. Okay. Well, I gotta say the seventh game may have been the easiest game of the night. So. So that deck went seven and two. And you guys hated on the shield, and the shield did so much work for us that game. So much work. All right, let's take a look at what we picked up. Is green screen doing it again? Is this something different that it hasn't been doing all day? You're telling me? Weird. There's been no hardware of changes of any sort at all. No software changes either all day long. So it's kind of weird that it's doing something different. We can just toggle that real quick, see if it fixes anything, I guess. Maybe something with OBS, possibly. Still looks kind of fuzzy. Oh well. Uh, all right, card we don't care about into a bird cleric. Fucking bird clerics. All right. Kind of look like it's on purpose. Yeah, it's to denote when I'm uh, not in a game. Spent a lot of time setting up that effect. Appreciate you guys noticing. Okay, I don't want to get packs. So the question is, what do we want to play right now? Uh, I definitely have time to draft again and probably start again, although I don't know if we have time to finish. Uh, do we want to do an M19 or another Dominaria? We've done like four Dominarias today, or three Dominarias today. I'll put it up as a poll. 